Good morning and it's blowing a hoolie today, snow forecast again, high winds so I thought I'll get out while it's still um, manageable. This is when it becomes a challenge when the mind wants to kick in and um, when you look out your window and it doesn't it looks anything but alluring to go out and get cold but again once you become cold adapted you understand that it feels pretty much the same every day, but the mind wants to come in um, as always. And I think, you know, one of the my favourite teachings is Byron Katie, the work. One of the questions you always ask of the thoughts, of your thoughts is, is it true? Um, so I can't do this today. Is that true? And how does it make you feel when you choose to believe that thought? Because who is doing the believing of the thoughts? We have, they say, around 60,000 a day. Maybe more than that. I don't know who counted. But let's suppose it's somewhere in that ballpark. And most of them just come, pass through a wee electrical experience. We ignore a lot of them. Maybe we grab one, usually a negative one, <laughs> and start to make a bigger story up around it. Um, so I found that one question very powerful. If you're hearing the voice in your head, if you're fasting right now with us, I'm hungry, I, can, I want to, I need to eat, I feel, I feel this, I feel that, because the mind will come in and it will convince you that you're right. So catch the thought and just say, is that true? Can I absolutely 100% know that's true? And how does it make me feel when I choose to believe that thought? And who would I be without that thought? So if you think you're powerless, powerless over your food, whatever you may feel you're powerless over, your feelings, just go through that. Am I powerless? Is it true? And then at the end of the four questions, we do the, what they call the turnaround. And the turnaround would be, I am powerful and you sit with that I am powerless I am powerful which one feels the best which one do you prefer and that's where to put your focus and attention it's quite simple it sounds so simple but yet all day long we still get caught up tonight I'm going live to look at the ego and this need to be right and want to get our points of view over and want everybody to believe and think the same thing so um, join me if you're interested or if you're living with somebody that's super opinionated <laughs> like me and um, we're going to work through and let go of all the the stress and the angst and the huge energy it takes in trying to prove yourself right. Look at the little snowdrops over there. Can you see them? I just cannot believe that they have survived through all this frost. Anyway, have a wonderful day. I'll see you later. Ciao.